Hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything at all about WordPress. I'm Aisha, and in this video, we're going to see how you can add a contact slider for your WordPress store. So when you have a WordPress store and you might need a contact form and you might have one just like this as I have right here. So uh, to adjust this or uh, to make it interesting, you can also add a sliding contact form over here or here or that can pop, pop up from your website. So we're going to see how this is done. And before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on WooCommerce and WordPress every now and then to get your website performance up and top. So we're going to go to uh, the plugins and install a new plugin and the plugin is called WP contact slider. I'm going to search for it. So as you can see, uh, there's a contact slider appearing on the, uh, my page and it has got 20,000 plus active installation. I'm going to install it and activate this plugin. Once activated, you will be taken into this page and you just have to click on the allow and continue. So uh, you might be having uh, already done a contact form. So we have we ha just have to integrate that contact form and add into this website. So here you can uh, uh, in this plugin, you can see there's a add new contact slider option and you just have to click that and whatever you uh, whatever is your uh, contact page or messages or anything like that, any any uh, template that you have, you just have to give your title as I'm just going to give it a uh, contact us. Maybe if you want a newsletter subscription, you can uh, do that as well, whatever you like. And you can adjust the colors uh, since my page is a little bluish in color. I'm going to select the background colors as blue. Then the label color, text color, all those is customization can be done over here. Then you can choose the position, which position you want to have your uh, slider in. I'm going to choose right. Then you, if you want to enable scroll, scroll bar, you can use that. If you want to hide it in the small devices, you can use that. So uh, these are some uh, basic options. And if you want to display it in the all pages, you can choose that. And if you want to display it on home page, you can do that. And if you want to uh, choose it on specific posts or specific pages, you can also do that. So uh, that's how that is. And uh, next is how would you like to display the uh, page? So you can use uh, either by shortcode or you using the text or HTML code. I'm just going to add uh, by shortcode. So what for this shortcode, what you have to do is you have to go to the uh, uh, WP form or wherever your uh, form is done. You can also accept contact form. You can also accept uh, Ninja forms and there are uh, seven other varieties that uh, WP contact form accepts. So you can choose any of that. So I have already done this mine. I have already have a contact form over here. I'm just have I'm just going to copy the short code and paste it on the contact slider. Here, just click on to the uh, contact fly slide. Here uh, in the short code, you just have to uh, paste the short code and write whichever uh, uh, form that you have used. I've just used the uh, WP uh, contact form. WP forms and I'm just going to save this. So upon saving this, uh, your slider will be published and we're going to visit my website. So here you can see there's a contact us option. When you drag it, you can see all these uh, informations that you have. So you can customize it uh, accordingly in your uh, WP forms or whichever form that you were using. You can check that uh, video also how you can uh, create a contact form using uh, WP forms. You can check that video as well. So that's it. That's all about today's video. If you have any questions or queries or support needed uh, through anywhere, plugin please do comment us on the video and don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on our videos we'll see you in another video bye